Hello guys, this is the Online Gamers. Today we're going to be talking about how you can save your passwords and uh, usernames in a program. Um, the main reason I'm making this video is because of a request on how to save username, password, and contact in a mail application. So I'll be showing these two in separate videos um, because of the video length and YouTube's limit. So just create a regular Windows Forms application and name it whatever you like. Just wait for it to load. And you can rename the form if you want. Um, you can do that. Um, okay, you want a checkbox. Um, and put the text to uh, remember me. <coughs> Sorry. And just put it somewhere. Then add two text boxes and change the name setting. On the first one, you scroll all the way up and where it says name. Now type in txt username. And in the other one, you type in txt password. Okay. Um, now what you want to do is you want to go to the where it says file edit project view yeah etc and you want to click project and saving no the properties the one on the bottom you should get a new bin window looking like this so just go to the settings right here and type click here uh, type in username still a string and a password which should also be a string now just close this tab and click save yes okay now what we want to do is create a new form closing event so we double click the form to get the form 1 load event and then click on the little arrow up here we scroll up till it says form closing not closed but closing Actually, I don't know if it matters, but I just use closing. Okay, so this, these two variables we just created, username and password, these are typed like this. My.settings.username. Okay, so what we want to do is, if checkbox one dot check is true. So if this checkbox is checked, we want my dot settings dot username to be txt username dot text, which is basically the text in the username text box. And we want to make a new line and type in my dot settings dot password is txt password.txt okay so and we want to make an else um, else my dot settings dot username is nothing my dot settings dot password is nothing okay so if the user has checked this when closing the program it will automatically um, save it um, save your username and password. If not, it will clear it. Okay, so in the form load event, txt username is my.settings.username. Sorry, text username dot text obviously. Um, and txt password dot text is my.settings dot password. Okay, so let's run our application and see what happens here. Okay, so we want to type in a username here. And let's type in password here. Now, let me just copy this. Uh, if we close it without saving, when we run the program, it doesn't remember you. So let's just try doing that again, but checking this one. 
and now we close the program. We run it again, and you see that it has saved the password. Now if I close it without checking this one, you see that the data has disappeared. And this is how to save user credentials. Please subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload my tutorial on saving contacts lists in your mail applications. That's all for this video. I'm the Online Gamers and I approve this message. Haha, <laughs> nice game. Raywin Johnson.